Understanding the grip is very important. And the first thing I want to talk about is your lead or your left hand grip here as a right handed player. The slower your hips are, or the least that they are rotated at impact, and people that do that will tend to stand up and come out of posture, that is going to be a grip that is going to be the weakest. So you can see that the left hand grip, the V, is going pretty straight up and down. So the left hand grip is going to match your hip speed. You can see on the right with the more rotated hips, now the left hand grip is stronger. You can see here before I started, you can see look at where I put my left hand on the club before I swung the club. And you can see that the V of this left hand now going towards the right shoulder. So if you just have an iPhone and take a video of yourself from down the line and you look at how much hip speed you have or how rotated you are at impact, that will tell you really where you need to have your left hand grip. Very important to understand that. So as we take a close up, you can see the left hand grip here on the right. Very strong left hand grip. Look how much of the emblem that you can see. And now here on the left, a very neutral, very uh, left hand grip where now the Tideless logo is pointing at the target. So slow hips on the left, fast hips on the right. And if you have medium speed hips, you're going to be somewhere in between the two. Medium speed hips is about 45 degrees rotated with the lower body at impact. That would be my sister Lori. So if we look at Lori here and watch her and then see her at impact, you're going to see she has her hips rotated about 45 degrees. So that is medium speed hips. The right hand grip or the trail hand grip, how you check it is it the real role of it is to stabilize the club face. You can see when the when I have it gripped correctly, look at the way the club is very stabilized as it rotates through impact to toe up. That's what we're looking for. That's what we want to find. Now I'm going to switch my grip and move it way underneath the shaft, which is not the best grip for me. Notice when I go through, look at the face twisting going through. That's not the correct grip for me. Now I'm going to get it really weak on top too much. And as I go through, same thing. We see all this twisting and turning. So if you really want to figure out where your right hand grip should be, just let the club swing back and through and notice where it is where the face is stabilized. That is the role of the right hand grip. The other thing that the right hand grip does is it will determine where the elbow is as we come into the ball. With slower hips you can see that my right elbow is behind my body here coming in which is called rear linkage and what you'll see is my right arm and hand will straighten right about there so not that far past impact if we look at where the ball is and draw where the ball is you're going to see about how far past impact that my right arm and hand straighten so i have released the club right there only about maybe a foot or foot and a half past impact my sister Lori, who is more of a mid-core player you're going to see that her right arm she's going to have her elbow further forward than mine was and she is going to have her right arm and hand straighten later. So we're looking at her right arm straightening there. So the, the right, so that will be determined by your right hand grip. Where you, that linkage is, how far forward the elbow is coming into the ball. And also where your release point is. Where does the right arm straighten? Very important to understand that. Where does that right arm straighten? A low core player... Somebody with faster hips than Lori, their right arm will straighten about parallel to the ground past impact. Lastly, the right hand grip will determine where you release the club. Side under or where the right hand is more under. What we'll notice is when you go through the ball, the release will be more out to the right. It'll be an extension release out to the right. The side on or the right hand's on the side of the club. This is going to be the one where the club goes pretty straight through. You can see where that club is. It's not as far out as on the right hand side there. 
And then lastly, the side cover. So the people that have the right hand grip weaker, the weakest grip, that release will move more down the line and further left. You can see now we can't even see the club. And even though I have slow hips, you can see my hips haven't rotated that much even in this practice swing. You can see as I go through, we can't even see the club. So the release will be determined by the right hand grip. So all these things that happen in your golf swing are going to be determined by your grip. Very important to get your left hand, right hand on the club correctly. As you will see here in my swing, I have a neutral grip. I am side cover. My right hand is more on top. You can see my left arm on plane, the club on plane coming into the ball. You can see that I have slow hips. My hips are very hardly rotated there. I'm standing up a little bit as I come through. And watch this corner release as the club releases left. All that's being determined by by that grip and the way I swing the club and the speed of my hips. For more information or to get in touch with me for a golf lesson, visit my website, LarryRinker.com. Happy New Year.